guys it's Peggy from the paper mumblebee welcome back to my channel hope you're having a great day I am having a great day today it's Saturday and I'm just enjoying my day doing some stuff around the house just changed my guinea pigs uh, all the things inside I cleaned it and they are happy again doggies I've done the one is really struggling with his ears it's a cocker spaniel and I don't know if you know cocker spaniel it's got like really sensitive ears for just itching and stuff like that so struggling with that but otherwise enjoying uh, enjoying it um, being busy with all my animals today I wanted to share with you guys one of Barbara's gorgeous kits first of all I downloaded the ephemera kit it is called the steampunk menagerie ephemera and then of course you've got the journaling pages <coughs> sorry guys let me show you the beautiful pages it's steampunk and it's colorful and we'll see how I go with all the colors and then all the little creatures on there love it so creatures and steampunk and color and I think I'm really going to enjoy this there's also just the plain background pages I think I'm going to get those to back these up and then make like a little junk journal out of that using only these papers and the ephemera pack that Barbara has in her shop so the kits and her shop Barbara shop everything will be link down below for you guys and don't forget to use my discount code also link down below and it's only for you guys so that you can have some discount i don't get anything from that so let me show you the beautiful ephemera so I've got four beautiful large tags love these little girls all steampunky then we've got some pockets and some more pockets and then this you can use as a belly band or tuck spot or bookmark whatever you want and then some journaling cards beautiful you can also find these similar to these in Barbara's coffee shop and they oh, they are different they are for free they were for um, Valentine's Day so really beautiful Oh, no, not Valentine, yeah, Valentine and 60k. So beautiful little journaling cards you can use as well for free. Check out Barbara's coffee shop. I thought they were a bit the same, but they're not. So again, some pockets and just ephemera, some more journaling cards. Love, love, love these. Beautiful. Some more pockets and then just this belly band or tuck spot some beautiful tags three four bigger ones and then just like a label -y thingy and these look like um, they're not pockets or they're like if you fold them like this they are like little uh, card holders ephemera holders now, what do you call these Mm, I don't know, I can't get the name, but if you um, cut these out like so, you've got a file folders, that's the name, you've got these little file folders, so then you cut this, just like so, and then fold them in half and you've got these beautiful little file folders like so i have to do this side as well of course um, these are on quite thin paper so i will have to back these if i want to make file folders out of them and i do think i want to so i'm just cutting for you and to show you guys how these are used so then you fold them and then you've got these little file folder you can back them up with coffee dyed paper or cardstock or anything to make them sturdy and then this will be uh, coffee dyed like so that would be so much better or you can 
uh, stencil there or you can ink there or stamp there or whatever you want so we've got two of those so I'm quickly going to fussy cut all these and be right back okay guys so I have cut everything out all the beautiful stuff the tags and the pockets and everything from the kit and there's quite a lot of stuff and loving it and I'm going to use some packaging and I'm going to cut this in half so I'm going to cut the top half off or whatever you want to call it the top or the bottom and I'm only going to use one side of the packaging so I'm just going to do that uh, off camera for you don't have to see what I'm doing I'm just going to cut the top half off and use one half of the packaging okay there we go so we've got two of these so the one side is just like this plain that's the bottom and then the top's got like the flap on the uh, top and on the sides and I just cut everything off and I'm just going to use one of these oh sorry guys and I might even cut it a little bit smaller we'll see I want to you of course can also use a file folder if you have one we don't have those here we do have the well just the normal new uh, sorry guys file folders that you can use like this and I can I can use it if I want to but I love just something vintage and we don't have the manila uh, those beautiful file folders in the Netherlands so now we've got this and now we have to decide how we are going to use this so I think I want to fold it so that it's got a, a flap like this and I'm just going to fold it gently I actually wanted to score but I'm such a bad scorer I don't know and then on the other side we want to fold it like that fold it like this so we've got this but I actually want to also take this upwards maybe even a bit more and please if you're a good scorer I think that's the best way to go so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to burnish this quickly so I want that fold and I want to fold this fold so we've got this and then this and this I want to go I want this to go in or uh, uh, up but I don't want this part so I'm going to cut that and I think I'm going to cut that at a little bit of an angle like so and I think I'm going to do this as well I'm going to just cut that like it's going to be a little bit of a V not really a V but just a little bit so that it is nice when you want to fold it so just like this and on the other side as well there we go so when you fold it you've got that and it won't get stuck or it's going to be hard to fold now first thing before I glue anything I am going to cover this with some of these beautiful papers so now we have to choose what we want on the inside and what we want on the outside we want to cover everything so where do we want beautiful images we don't we want anything so then you can use the more blank side or we want to use this beautiful bird on the on the front so I'm going to see what I want on the front and what I want on the inside and then we can glue. 
Okay guys, so I've been checking out the pages and playing around. And I think for the inside, I do want to use most of it, clocks and stuff, and then of course the animals. But I want pages with clocks, and you do have pages with flowers. So I'm going to go for the pages with clocks. And I'm going to play a bit with the pages so that it's more like it's collaged. But just big pieces. Um, so I'm going to put this on the inside, and then this with the clocks and such, or wood. I think this is more wood stumps or something I'm gonna put on on the inside here and then for the flaps I think on the inside I'm not gonna do anything for we are going to glue this down I am going to use these this owl and this owl just so that they fit on there and then for the outside I'm going to play with two pages as well I think I want, let's see where is the, yeah, I want this on my front, I love these colors, and then I want this to be on the back, so I want, like I said, the cockwheels again, and so we have to play with those to fit. First, I'm going to just put some tape over the creases so that they don't tear. And I've got some packaging tape that I love to use. And I'm going to use that quickly on here. So I'm just going to put everywhere where the creases are and we can cut that off. In a minute, you can fold it if you want to. I think I'm just going to cut this side. I might even fold, and then just cut in between there as well. There we go, and then we can put some tape. On the other side the inside as well just to be sure that they will stay nicely and don't tear okay that's too small so I'm gonna put another piece and that's oh well that's fine you know I love layers so I don't mind that I'm also going to put some here and here and of course on the outside as well so how are you guys doing I'm just going to put some tape on that and then just take it over and On me. This is left, so just another big piece for the other side. Turn that around. Just having a nice play with these papers. I just always love steampunk. That is just one of the things I love. So I'm just going to cut that off quickly. Oh. And then of course then this again. There we go. Like so, I'm just going to put these pieces back. You can use that again. Okay, so we've got that. And now we are going to cover. I'm just going to fold it again quickly. Oh, they are going to fold harder now. It's going to be harder. Being a lot sturdier. 
And of course, not this one. And then we are going to cover them with papers and it's going to be harder, even harder. So I'm going to start on the outside. And I think I'm going to do this one first. And then this one I'm going to overlap. Yeah, I think I'm going to let them overlap for otherwise we are going to... Well, it's not going to be nice. So I'm going to glue this one down first. And then we can cut off any axis. So let's just use some glue stick for I am going to sew around at a later stage as well when I have covered everything. Just a quick stitch around. So I'm going to glue this like so. And then a little piece. Just glue that down. It's a bit skewed. So I'm just gonna try and there we go. Okay, and now I want this to cover the little I don't know mouse thingy. So I'm gonna cover it like so, and then we have to cut. I'll just get a pencil about here. I'm just gonna leave a little bit so that. If I miscalculate, I've got a bit to play with. So I'm just going to cut that. So, where did I put my pencil? I think here. There we go. Cut that quickly and then you can glue that on here. My little mousey, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to hurt you. And we'll see how far it goes. Got this, so we have to glue this on here as well. There we go. So now we are just going to turn it around and cut off all the axis. See, and we might, well, I think I'm going to cut off, oh sorry guys, cut off the axis first and then glue the inside. So I'm gonna, just going to do that quickly. There we go, now I'm going to glue the inside. And then I'm going to stitch around like here. And then we are going to do these. I think I'm going to just get a, a little bit of this one side as well. There we go. Got that one. Okay, so I'm going to glue the pages on the inside. I think I had... Mm, yeah, this one on this side, and then that one on over there. So I'm going to glue this one first. So I'm just going to see. I want about this much. Cut that off. Actually, wanna uh, I don't know if this is the place. But I just want to say I'm sorry that I'm not uploading regularly. I'm just not feeling that good lately, and I'm just well doing whenever I'm feeling good. I am uploading a video for you guys, so I hope you will still enjoy. And when I'm feeling better, I will definitely be back. 
I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to upload, but just whenever I'm feeling good or whenever I, yeah, whenever I'm feeling good, actually. There we go. So it's something I have to live with. It is not, well, I'm not sure if there's nothing to do about it, but for now I'm just trying to live my life with this and I'll be okay Again. and on this side Yeah. I think the stitching will be random. I want to go over this as well. So I think that's okay. I'm just going to cut off the axis again and do some stitching and then we will be back. And I'm going to cover this quickly. When I get back, first I want to do this and do the stitching. Or maybe I should do these as well and we can do some stitching around them as well. So let's do that. So I want the two owls. Yeah. On here. So I think well, this one's looking outside or to the outside. That side. That way. I think I'm gonna do him in the middle. And in this one, I want in here. Let's see, I want the face on there. So it's going to be like so. I'm just going to fold the page a bit. I'm going to put that on the inside. Just draw a line where I have to cut. So I'm going to cut that and that can go in there. Just cutting a bit outside of the lines. This off. Let's see. Yeah. Glad I did that. There you go. Yep. That little guy is going to live on there. I will glue that one on there. And then we've got the other little owl on the other side. He has to come down a bit as well. So again, I'm going to fold the little page and see, draw where I need him. Bottom. 
and he's going to live there. So gluing these two on here. Yeah, I'm happy. And then going to stitch around them while they're still loose. I'm going to stitch around this quickly. I'm going to cut off the axis and then I will be back. Okay guys, so I have sewn around and sewn around these and I have already glued them down. And I did use some tape on the bottom here for I think that looks quite nice and it also secures the little pocket. I have decided to use all these ephemera pieces. I've inked them up, backed them up so that I can use them. Um, first of all, I think I'm gonna glue this down on the front here for I want to make a closure later on for it won't close on its own like this. It's quite bulky even when or not even but especially when I am done filling up everything. So this I'm going to let dry quickly. And then on the inside I think I want some cute tags. So just going to insert some tags in these little cute little pockets and then on this page I am going to use this as a well a tuck spot so I'm going to use some glue on the top here and on the bottom here and I'm going to cover this as well so like so it's a bit too much glue I will be cutting that in a minute oh I forgot to put some glue on here let's it's not dry yet so I can still put some glue on here I really want to make it into a little tuck spot so let's do that again there we go yeah so oops, letting that dry quickly and then in this tuck spot I want to put some of these gorgeous I think I'm gonna let that dry but some of these gorgeous big tags then we've got on the back side we will cut that in a sec I want to put this pocket I forgot to ink this one inking this quickly and then gluing that on there do it more on to the side and then we can tuck something in there in a while when it's dry on the back here we've also got this piece here so I've got this and I think I want to use this as a tuck spot as well or a pocket actually so I think I am going to glue on here like so and then on the side and then about here just like so going to let the stitching stick out 
and this I will be cutting and this I think I should have cut as well but we'll see how that works okay let that dry quickly now on here I want to make a hole bunch of hole I'm just thinking if I should mm, I think I will be making a hole right here going to get an eyelet quickly okay got a nice brassy color I'm going to put that in there Love that. It's not perfect, but it's fine. So, what are we going to put in here? I think these beautiful large tags will they fit? Yes. I'm going to cut off this quickly. Piece sticking out. And then let's see, got these two gorgeous tags in here. Got a pocket here, and got in the back we can put these two. And then I need something for in here that I do not have right now nothing that will fit I will make a little tag that fits in here or I can use one of these fit in there I do want to use maybe we can put these in here as well these are really cute and this is really nice also to just put everything you want to use in a project and take it with you so then we also have this and i was thinking that this is really big i want to use some of these beautiful wheels on here I need a smaller one I'm gonna glue that on the gonna use some fabric glue it's really strong glue and I'm just going to glue these on here open it up Whoops, 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 whoops. Load of glue. And a bigger one. Oh, another big one. And then we have a smaller one. let that dry the glue will dry clear so that's fine and then we need also something in in the eyelet for the closure and just wondering what I should use should I use twine I think it goes with the theme actually sorry silk I do not have in I've got yellow sorry silk I can use both let me just get some there we go we've got some 
yellowish sorry silk and I've got some twine and I'm going to put them through the eyelet okay let's see if that will work it is and then through there and then tight so now we can put them around but it's going to be in the back but that's fine I think that's cute um, what else can we put on here I think I am done so this is a quick project I hope you liked it so for the closure I use some twine and some sorry silk I used Barbara's beautiful papers for covering the back and the front. Made some beautiful pockets with some tags. I'm going to put everything I have. Still got some beautiful things. I'm going to put them all in here to save them for another project. And I've also got a load still of pockets that I can use. I am going to save them all in here. Put them in there. On the back, we might even, I think I'm going to ink this one up and glue that down on there. I love this little one. And it is a steampunk theme. So let's just quickly close the glue. I want to use this one. going to use this glue to put on here come on so gluing that on there really steampunk theme loving that so I hope you enjoyed this little project as well give it a thumbs up if you did and i hope to see you again soon so take care and i will be back soon i promise till next time bye bye good have a great day bye